You might have seen this video made by Peppo about Yamatsukami. After seeing it, you could be thinking, Oh cool, another great longsword speedrun. What the heck? What is this giant floating one? This brings me back in my old days. I fall into the third one, but for some of you watching this right now, you might be wondering, who is this monster? And is it relevant to Sunbreak? If you're new to Monster Hunter, I welcome you. Also, it's been 14 years already since we last saw this monster. Let me repeat that. 14 years. I know, I know. There's other well-known monsters out there that has not returned. But poor Yamatsukami. This deserves more attention. And here's why. Yamatsukami is one of the older Elder Dragons that was introduced back in the second generation. We used to hunt this giant floating mountain dragon in this mysterious ancient civilization tower. It's like the ruins we see in the Citadel map. There's even a legend that the tower was built up with Kushala's materials. But what's it like to hunt down this giant floating mountain? You see, back in Monster Hunter Dose, you'll have to chase Yamatsukami till you reach on top of the tower. Although they sort of change this in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, you're just stuck in this one small circular area. Also, while I was hunting this solo, I completely forgot how you don't want to far cast or you'll just end up running back up. <laughs> During the hunt, oftentimes Yamatsukami will spit out these thunderbugs. Oh, that's not so bad. No, actually, they're just great thunderbugs that follow you around and boom, it explodes right into your face. Just saying, Master Rank Zinover could really learn from this. What it also does is it slams down its ginormous mossy tentacles and sometimes spreads it real wide. This is getting graphic, like a starfish, and spins around, knocking you out dead. Come on, what? Did you see that? I was crouching already. And eventually, it will open its giant mouth. No, no, don't. And it's going to do a vacuum-like move that kills you instantly. I could have said it tries to suck. Since then, second generation was the last time we ever got to see Yamatsukami, and it never returned. Well, what now? When are we getting Yamatsu- Yo, could this be it? Could this be the right time we get to see Yamatsukami again? Look Capcom, please. I don't want to get my hopes up. But think about it everyone. Alatrion and Fatalis made it in the 5th generation. And both monsters had a huge overhaul in their movesets. I'd really love to see a rework of Yamatsukami if that's the case. Because let's face it guys, hunting down Yamatsukami in this day and age, if you try to play Freedom Unite, actually even back then, it's quite a lackluster and it definitely deserves a huge overhaul. Like can you imagine that? This is a perfect opportunity for us. More wirebug usage during combat, not just silkbind skills. All of us are trying to dodge that huge earth tentacle even running away from the powerful strong wind attacks and a lot of us would be climbing up the body placing bombs to try to knock it out it's going to be crazy for us players in monster hunter rise they've introduced a different type of hunt called rampage basically we are defending the kamura village from a crap ton of these monsters it was a fresh experience for us players it was fun for a while but it didn't hit the same way as hunting a giant monster i ran a community poll to see how many people wanted to have rampage or huge monster hunts in sunbreak the data is obviously small but we can already see 97 percent of you prefer huge monster hunts than rampage hunts in sunbreak thanks for participating by the way i'm quite sure even before they've announced sunbreak they've seen the feedback from the community about the rampage they could either improve on it or bring back huge monster hunts again if they do plan on adding huge monster hunts hunts in sunbreak yo it's going to be exciting i hope one of them is yamatsukami all right if yamatsukami does come back in sunbreak what kind of armor and weapons does it have for us players is it any good here's what the armor set looks like and the skills that it has you can pretty much see the armor skills change throughout every monster hunter game it was interesting to see how in freedom unite and for ultimate yamatsukami's armors lean more on a defensive playstyle while in generation ultimate the armor set is more on the offensive playstyle as for the weapons it looks something like this as you can see there's only a few weapons and almost all of them can inflict paralysis 
With all that said, Yamatsukami is a great monster. Who knows if it's going to return? Regardless, if you're new to Monster Hunter, I hope this video shed some light on who the heck Yamatsukami is and how cool of a monster it was. You know what's also cool? Apex weapons. Check out this next video as I share how they could possibly be added in Sunbreak and some of them are absolutely broken. Anyhow, subscribe. Peace.